Hello and welcome back to Queen's Wish 2 and this time uh, we will go to the uh, Larokon Ruins. Uh, but before we do so, we need to heal up, greet them. I think we already had that, but let's just check again. A flawless crystal. The craft powerful upgrade. Let's just buy these. Yeah, 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 depart. Mm -hmm. Let's seal up. Alright. And back. And now I need to pay attention to the enemies here. I don't want to get into... And we are still missing the uh, Quicksilver. I don't want to go in, get into fights with just with some roaming monsters, that's kind of pointless. And the same here, we got some skeletons down there. Alright. Mm -hmm. You are at the south end of a cold, sandy valley. Looking up to the northwest, you see more gashes in the mountains, full of ice, bare rock and worn monuments of to dead row. This is a burial ground stretching up to the west of the High Letha. As miserable as this land is, some row have still chosen to settle here. Their tents are circled around the campfire. The fire is out, but the ashes are still warm. Whoever is hiding here, they ran for cover when you approached. The low dagger is full of raiders right now. Some of them might be hiding here. Well, there is a gate, and there is a brigand, which just became hostile, so... Mm, let's just start by taking him over, if possible. Yes, alright. Mm-hmm. It's our charmed one. Uh -huh. Nope. It just went past. I should have pulled him back. Just getting everyone back so that he will not be able to attack anyone during his turn. Alright, well, never mind. Evaded, I guess it's also immune for... Okay, this one is dead. Um, but we can just take over the next one if possible. Yes. Yeah, we should probably kill this dude first before even getting to the sorcerer. Alright. Mm -hmm. Vulnerable, nice. Awesome. Yeah, this looks to be like pretty perfect battle where we just invested some mana. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. Yeah. Open the gate. Rare spices. All right. An altar. Ah, you enter one of the old rogue crypts that honeycomb this power of the mountains. Ah, after the senseless ambush outside, you are alert. Even the crumbling bones scattering the floor can be a threat. When you see motion in the shadows to the north, you can barely make out a man wearing the robes of a high lethan. He waves his hands and chants. Some moments later, the bones begin to knit together, forming a long gauntlet of defenders. The mysterious man runs out of the crypts. And I clicked away already. Okay. Anyways, we will... They have some, like, flaming swords, but I'm not sure if... If they can actually cast, or if this is just uh, um, yeah, they are casters. All right, that makes it quite a bit more nasty. I mean, they can't bleed, but still, the AOE is, I think, well invested. Um, we should uh, give them something to attack. Uh. Hey, we. Yeah, this will. This is annoying. Okay. Ah, uh, so we also have a chance to, to read the last sentence. Um. Bobo, all right. Mysterious man runs out of the crypt uh, through an arc to the west. All right. Um. So this time I will just block the path right away, and we should also buff. I'm not sure if we should even attack the ice spheres because they just seem to summon them um like all the time so um might be better to just focus on the skeletons we can't get to... okay it works We just need to stay out of range to the ice sphere. What's that? Another ice sphere. Sphere. Right. Oop. Mm hmm. That's fine. Next one. There's another skeleton up there. Mm -hmm. Now we need to kill them to get past them to the north. Uh, oh, they are just resummoning or being res. Mm. I don't know if I need to get past them to stop them being summoned or if that's like an. A resource which is ending at some point, we should uh, not the best choice there. Back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will just keep summoning them. Nah. And the next one. Uh, 
Let's try and get to them and hopefully if they are being summoned we can kill the dude otherwise this might be it already and there's another one out of range and another one He does have the stuff. Save. Death. Die. Ha. Mm-hmm. Seems to be clear now. Nothing to loot. Lizard. Okay. Dagon Pillar. Okay. Ah, because the construct is still alive there. Now yeah, it's annoying. Vulnerable. Nice. Our construct is not doing anything. Elisa Avenger or Avenger with a blue sword. Yeah, our construct is super helpful. Just doing nothing. Oh, and there's another one. Uh. Blessing evasion. Okay, let's try to take this one. Nope, charm resist. Just getting him out of range for the um, for any cleave attack. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. full mana here so let's heal and hostile uh. okay and there are Rollo Rollo of the Daga Rollo wasn't Rollo like some 
story f like finish I remember there was some some um, either a, um, animated or 3d animated series in Finnish Rollo maybe it wasn't even animated I don't remember um we need to kill Rollo Uh, but not with the sword. Okay. Mm. Gom the Hack. Old One Eye. And One Eye was uh, the main character of Valhalla Rising. A movie. Oh, Charm Immune. Man, this is 100%, oops. Um, 60%, okay. Huh, okay. So Rollo has 90%, this guy only has 60%, so let's try that, nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll give this a try. Nice. Oh, you have fought through a long line of raiders and their pets who engaged in a spirited, doomed effort to stop the advance of Haven. Now you have reached their innermost band of defenders. A man of the low dagger steps out to stop you. His weapon is out and he's furious. It is a quirk of the row that, the closer they get to death, the angrier they become. So I hope you are satisfied, Haven, with all the troubles you have. You still have time to force an unnecessary slaughter. He looks you in the eye, waiting for a response. You aren't quite sure what to say. I have come to the low dagger to destroy the raiders that attack Haven. Why are you attacking me? We had no choice. When you came, death came with you. Better to face it here than in chains in Etze. A quick sword. Uh, sword is kinder than what they do. Sword? Quick sword. But the raiders have inspired the master there to creative cruelty. You are not part of the raiders? No, of course not. We are all accused of crimes. We came here to hide from your justice. We are brigands of the hills. That is not a shameful fate for a Dagon. Our people have always raided and been raided. How do you stay alive? We do what we need to, which means theft, most likely. Uh, so you are criminals running from Haven Justice. We are not criminals. We are accused of things, but none of us are guilty. We are the warriors not in agreement. We are just not tamed. No Dagons are warriors, no matter how much Haven tries to buy us. Uh, I need all of you to leave here. We can't. Outcasts like us have to hide in the worthless valleys like this one. There's no other choice. We can't leave here. Once you're gone, what could we do? You could just turn yourselves in. And let the Master of Etze use us as playthings, torment us and kill us for fun? No, we refuse. All of this could have been avoided if you'd just not attacked me. The warriors at the front gate were fools. They didn't what they did. Now we are forced to face the consequences. I'll allow you to stay here. Just stay out of trouble. I guess I'll bring you to justice for whatever crimes you did. I'm sure they were bad. <laughs> you need to leave here or die. I will allow you to stay here. Just stay out of trouble. Well... We can do that. 
It is too late for that. You know where we are. Uh, we are here. You know we attack the Heaven Heavenite. We are lost. When Raza Lavita hears what we did, he will punish us to please you. If I must die, I choose to do killing Heavenites for the Rukai, the warrior's hole in charge. Well, I gave you a chance. You didn't want to use it, so you have to die. Mm -hmm. We should get our mage out of there. Alright, alright, alright. Mm. Yeah, the sapphire skeletons, I think they had some... No, it's not that bad. Resistances. Alright. Um, I mean, we will hit our own ones, but I think that's acceptable. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Critical. We will just keep the skeleton for now. Oh. Excellent. Now we can take care of the skeleton. That's probably a bad idea. Magical evasion, 75%. Yeah, that's a bad idea. working mm. Mm. now we need to kill that thing I think this is also now a magical attack, so it's probably not hitting out of that reason. Done ninety per cent. Leading. Uh, um, yeah, let's walk forwards and do a heal so that he is also getting some. Also hostile now. Nah. We should probably just kill that dude. Ugh. 
die. Ouch. Die. Bleh. Rollo, the leader of this a band of rogues falls. You have brought these brigands to justice. You don't know if they actually did any crimes or what those crimes were, but they got some sort of justice. They made another one, uh, other re result impossible. No doubt, five minutes, uh, minutes after you leave, another group of brigands will move in here and start plotting trouble. It is the way of the Lodaga, of the Rokai. Okay. Yeah, now we need to try to survive. <laughs> uh, die. Yeah. Uh, switch. Bloop. Uh. So it's okay, that's fine. Let's get us some treasure. Okay, there's another shortcut. Madness symbol. Mental resist plus one to ensnaring vines. I don't think that's really useful. Ruby, diamond, coins, coins. Okay. Okay, more doggies. Fenris beasts. That's fear. Well, they will have a short lifespan. <laughs> Next one. Yeah, the bow with the vulnerable debuff is really nice. Okay. Another treasure. Medic's guard, healing spells and battle medic. Alright. Magical damage, magical evasion. Magical evasion is really good. Healing spells, battle magic. So what's battle magic doing? It's an yeah, increasing the base heal, but I'm not really using that that often, so that's not super useful. I don't think I will use that. Um, maybe... That's for the curse resist. It's also... Yeah, this is better. Even though she's not healing that much, and probably also with the other spell, it's also doing more protection, so... Let's go with that. And oh, okay. So we also need to enter that zone from the other side. I didn't see any path down. Hmm. Yeah, that's it.
maybe we need to fiddle around with these gate thingies. No, this is stuck. And I guess the other ones are also stuck then. Yes. And this one. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so we need to enter from the other side. Hmm. So what quest was that then? The Larocon Ruins. This is the other side. Mm, at Salam with some historical research. Ancient group in the nearby Larrican ruins, yeah. But we should have another quest with specifically the Larrican. The A band of the axe, blah blah blah. Azukena, mm, Eska Keep in the Lodaga, okay. So we need to go to go back to Eska Keep then. All right. Uh, okay, let's kill these. We can just go all out now. Let's just do another here. Okay. Yeah, but it's going fine. We don't need to clear that bleed. Uh, it's not actually the right path. No, it's not. We need to go there and avoid that other roaming group here. Yep. Like that. Okay. Xu mm. Xu. Need to rep need your report about the current situation. Um. Ah, 
The brigands hiding in the Lorokan ruins are no more. You tell Azucena the tale. Some of her soldiers come in to listen. It turns out to be quite an enjoyable story. If I may be so bold, let me share with you some of the supplies I reserved for raiding that fort. You are brought a scroll and a ceramic flask. Did you get any useful information? The brigands were not cooperative in that regard. Hmm, perhaps they were clever. They might have also been an independent cooperation not attached to any conspiracy. Thank you, Prince. The Lodaga is far more secure now. The Roe will appreciate it. And, hmm, there may be more benefit to Haven and the Lorokan ruins. Ah, I have another question. There is something useful that can be done in the Lorokan ruins. The ruins used to contain a passage between the Hylitha and the Lodaga. If the passage could be found and opened, it could be very useful. How can this passage be opened? One would have to enter the Lorokan ruins from the High Lethan side to open it. This is impossible for me. Something who can, someone who can freely travel through the entire Rokai might do it though. Why are you so interested in this passage? If Haven controlled a hidden way into the High Lethan, it could be valuable. There's uh, there what? If there was a rebellion, speedy routes around the Rokai lead to effective attacks. You sound like you are thinking about a lot more than just brigands. I am. I will not hide it. Haven should always be prepared for a Rokai rebellion. If we are the only ones who haven't forgotten that, it is our responsibility to act. That's all for now. Thanks. Okay, cool. Um, there isn't anything new. Mm hmm. Okay, so we can't do anything there. The only thing we can do is basically heading back or we need to go back into Worm's Teeth. That would be another option. We need to go back into the fire pits. Um, I don't really want to do that. Let me have a quick look into my... Um, building list. Eska Keep. Yeah, the Apothecary was still missing. So we need to go back here anyways at some point. Glacier Keep. Yeah, that's this one. Um, Ax Ramos Ruins. That was from the High Letha. We might w just want to go back to Fort Meadow 4. And maybe even head back home and see what is happening there. But it's kind of weird that the... The mirror was not um, active and nobody wanted to talk to us. Nilsi check. Mm. There was this underground thing, so maybe we ju should just go there and see if we can find anything else in... Uh, I don't want to do that. No, I'm not sure when I... Let me quickly... Ah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. We do just do redo the dialogue quickly. These random attacks are a bit annoying. Also, because, uh, I mean, it would be less annoying in some way if we really got some XP from that. But we barely get anything from that, so it's kind of just wasted time. Okay. Um, was there some... Um, some stuff we could get now as reward? I'm not sure. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Let's have a quick look in the other areas here. I don't see anything else. Mm. 
All right. No, no, they, they are there again. Oh, but this is... Uh, this is completely pointless. Mm, shit. Okay. We need to go to the west. Not sure if these were enemies or not. I mean, in theory, you can quick travel. I just don't want to do that because I think that's less time efficient. Like in-game time efficient. We are at day 57. Yeah, let's go to the fire pits and see what we can find underground over there. And if we can find a connection to the other um, cave entry we found further in the north. This was way down. Ah, no, this, okay, yeah, 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 oh, this was just the, the dragon zone, and now we need to go there. Maybe we can also talk to the dragon again? Nope. All right, here we are. A group of robed figures emerge from the steam and suit you reach for your weapon, only to realize they haven't noticed you. It's a small group of humans wandering around and looking at things. Sometimes one of them picks up a chunk of granite or crystal, they inspect it and throw it away. Eventually one of them sees you, they stop and stare, they don't seem hostile. Approach them. When you get close, they lower their hoods. You can see that they are raw, all from different provinces. They have backpacks and sacks heavy with samples. One of them steps forward. Excuse me, you're from Haven, aren't you? He nods at your shoulder insignia. We are Rudico, wandering students of nature and magic. I think we already had that. What are you doing down here? Research, looking for samples of new sorts of rock and crystal, seeing how the caves are changing, bringing knowledge back to the main tower. Where are you going now? We are almost done with this trip. We have as much as we can carry. We're just enjoying the safer, more comfortable part of the cave for a moment. Then we emerge through the fire pits. What about the drake at the gate? What? You mean Fracas? The Rudico I have had an arrangement with that old softy going back centuries. Our toll is paid. An advice for traveling down here? Hmm, can be hard to find your way around if you need to rest. Look up at Danvers outpost. It's north and then west. We at Ru we Rudico I have an old ruin down here. That way, he points in what seems like a northwesterly sort of direction. I'd be careful near there. It's really, really in need of clear cleaning. I'll be on my way. And I think we cleared that already. And us too. We miss the cool, soothing air of the Lodaga. They chuckle, enjoying the beauty of the underworld. They meander off toward the fire pits, though they are constantly distracted by the wonders of nature. Hmm. And there are some drakes. Yeah, let's go explore the south here a bit. And of course, the other rakes and lizard guys. Well, they are kind of aggressive. We should try that again. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Now we will we will just clear everything. See that yet? This is sword out. Okay. Great lizard. Music by Incompetech, uh, Kevin McLeod, by the way. Now yeah, they spend too much time buffing, it's not very healthy for them. The cleave is, is not nice. Stupid move. It's a stun. No poison. Nah, I should probably redo that just to to save some mana. So we should just take one of them over to basically negate all the damage. Also nice if it this one is poisoned already. That way we don't have to wait until the charm is over. That was much better. <laughs> mm. 
Mhm. Mm, yeah, we need to do that. And then we can still heal with her. Uh, okay. We can also heal. That's fine. Alright. You search through the nest and find a collection of bone and chewed tools going back centuries. A lot of prosper prospectors have found their final resting place here. At least their view is pretty cool. In the nest you can also pick out a few pouches of gold, gemstones and the like. Mm -hmm. Okay, we still are far away from the other side apparently. The cave opens up as you get farther north. The ceiling is even taller. The mist and soot make it hard to see how high it goes. The rocky floor to the north is crisscrossed with more rivers of lava, making travel unpleasant and confusing. You aren't able to see well enough to navigate a path through the maze from here. There are lots of claws, scratches and shredded scales in the scree at your feet. Some of the scales are distressingly large. Well, it's the only path we can go. This is all closed up. Now we can split. There's a wagon. Mm, there was someone running around. It's a dead end. Yeah, we need to kill them anyways. No, maybe not. Well, probably we do. Uh, Iguana King. Yeah, we do the same as last time. Actually, here yeah, we buff first. Mm -hmm. Now yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, the Sultans are a bit annoying. Ah, they're killing their own one. <laughs> Okay. And they're all hostile now. Um That's nice. Okay. Ah, nice. No poison. Nah.
a camp, a lot of stagnant water has settled in this expanse of cave. Forests of twisted fungus have grown out of the muck nourished by the heat and minerals from the thermal vents. The smell of sulfur is replaced by the reek of rot. You can see shaggy creep animals slinking around the strange growths. They look like rats. They are everywhere. Some are small and shy, but the magic of the cave has made some of them huge and fierce. You find a small camp of Rokai miners. They are gathered around a small fire pit. It's too warm down here to need a fire to sleep, but they need the extra heat to roast their fresh lizards. They are surrounded by tools and sacks of rocks, maybe one, may, uh, maybe or maybe crystals. When you get close, they quietly shift around, making room by their fire. They demand that they give up their goods. Sit with them. You sit by the miners. They aren't very talkative. They speak in sentences of three words or less, probably part of the reason they ended up down here. Still, they are friendly and they don't mind the company. They offer you lost lizard, except the gift. You gnaw on the stingy little lizards, half cooked and free of salt. It's not an appealing meal. Still, they are happy that you accepted it. You sit and stare at the burning pit for a bit. Ask about the caves. They are nervous about describing the local caves because that is where their climbs are and they haven't explored anywhere else. And they do suggest that you visit Dunvers Outpost to the southwest. It's a safe refuge for explorers of the underworld. Ask about their lives. They want to say nothing about who they are or where they are from. Outlaws or just private? You aren't sure. Ask about rats. Lots of them. Watch out. Trade with them. They show you the stones in their backs. They don't have anything worth trading for. You all nod to each other, then you depart. Okay, so the southwest is where this outpost thing is supposed to be. Interesting. Well, that's it today in this um, great <clears throat> empty area. Well, ah, okay, there, there's the other, um, the continuation. It's quite big, actually. So, yeah. Next time, we will then just keep exploring this underground realm. Maybe we find this refuge they were mentioning. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. We don't think... I, I don't think I, I do have any quests here. But, I mean, exploring that probably makes sense anyways. So, let's see about that next time. <laughs> New episodes every couple of days. So, make sure to subscribe to not miss anything. I thank you for watching, have a great new year and hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.